All right, guys, today we're going to tie a simple mop fly using a size 12 jig hook and a 3.8 millimeter bead. You're going to take your thread about to the point of the hook. You're going to clip it. Don't use your good scissors for this mop fly material. We're going to take the mop fly, clip the end of it off. And from there, we're going to expose the inner core of the mop fly. It should look about like this. <clears throat> from there, we're going to take the thread back up to the top of the hook again. And we are going to trap the mop fly material right at the bead. Should look something like this. When completed. From there, we're going to take high UV brown dubbing and get a healthy chunk of it. And we're going to mix that in. And guys, this is a really quick and simple fly. It don't have to be gorgeous. It's just a delayed harvest pattern. Get a little bit more dubbing. I maybe got just a hair too much. Gonna work that into the thread. Get a medium-sized noodle going. Should look something like that when done. <coughs> From there, we're going to use our wet finish tool. Do about a four turn whip finish. You can do the second one if you'd like. <clears throat> From that point, you can leave it like that. You don't have to do anything more. The fly is done. Um, one other small thing that I like to do. I saw somebody else do it and I've kind of picked it up from that point is I take a little bit of sap gap and coat the thread where you took it back I'll let that soak in. Hold it for about 15 seconds. Let that harden. And from there you have a simple delayed harvest mop fly using ISWV Brown dubbing. 